All right, here with Derek Lester, 212 Olympia champion. It's day three of our three-day training blitz, and today is arm day. Are you ready? I'm ready to go, pal. Okay, this is a body part that we really are gonna focus on right now. We're gonna work on that brachialis, that outer head. We're gonna be able to hit that, but we're also gonna be able to work on some detail, some peak, and overall width. Now, what is width? Width means that how thick your arms look on that front relax. We're gonna really work on that today. So, come along on this journey. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with some basic curls. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the palms facing forward, constant tension on that bicep. We're gonna go all the way up, try to make sure to keep the shoulders back so we can focus on the bicep. Nice, slow, eccentric. And then on the concentric, we're gonna go not too fast because we wanna get that time under tension. So this is what you're doing wrong. You gotta keep it here. Yeah, I'm literally. Can't yeah, that's why your that's why the arm is all fucked up. So until you can, yeah, both of them. You gotta keep them that way. Go. Like I literally cannot do any more than this. It's like a massive pain. Is it is it like to the point where if you go lighter, could you do it? Yeah. Okay. Well, go go lighter and work your way up. You're wired today. I'm extremed up. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Come on! Good. That's it. Keep that in. You work on that. Keep that wrist out. Good. Good. Keep, it that, keep that out and it goes to the other side. Let's go. Keep that out. Just like if it was a barbell. Good. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're trying to go lighter because the problem we're seeing is that he constantly wants to turn his wrist into a hammer style curl. So great for your forearms and a little bit of your outer arm, but I'm really trying to target that inner bicep. So you've got to be able to keep that wrist supinated. What does that mean? That means you got to try to keep your pinky out, out, turn it out and stay this way. So that's why we're going to go ahead, do a couple more sets, and then I'm going to switch him over to a straight bar because that's going to force him to keep those pinkies out. Not going heavy. We're really trying to manipulate these biceps into growing. You've got to really get that mind-muscle connection. Turn that wrist. Good. Turn it even more. Uh, that's it. Go. Uh, come on. Uh. Squeeze. Uh. Oh. Together now. Together. Go. Oh, yes. Go. Good. Go. Go. Yeah, come on. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. Good job. He started cheating again. You see how he started cheating again? I'm calling my own guy out on his own right now because at the end of the day, this is what's going to make him either get way better or stay the same. Go. Come on. Good. Good. Breathe. Focus it forward. Focus on those arms. Look at them. How are they going to look on stage when you're standing next to everybody? Good. One. Two. Good. Now give me partials. One. Shoulders back. Two. Three. Four. One more. Good job. All right. Exercise two. We went to straight bar because he just couldn't keep that wrist supinated. So again, this isn't heavy about heavy weight. This is about time under tension and making sure that we're curling properly. Push with that pinky. Push with that pinky, that ring finger. Bring it up. Come on, come on. Good. Go. Good. Three more. One. Good. Up and pause. Pause it. Right there. Pause it. Just hold it there. You do five seconds. You don't have to do another rep. Hold it. Slow. 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 Slow, slow. Good. Hands up, hands up. Good, partial. Come on, get it back up. Rest up, rest up for five seconds. Keep going, just rest, 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 run like that, like that. Keep those arms down like that. We're gonna do blood starving sets. Okay, right after this set, hands up over your head. Let's go. Go. Good. Control it, make sure your hands are even, good. Good. Control it. Good. 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 
control it. Good. Partial three. One, two. Good job. Hands over your head. All right, so in the past, you guys have seen me do blood starving sets. You wanna keep your limbs over your heart because what we wanna do is we wanna deplete the blood as much as we can. A lot of people see blood occlusion training where you're using bands. I have done that in the past right now because that can create a lot of damage and the capillaries will start to break if you end up doing it too much. So instead of doing it to that level, we're just keeping the extremities above the heart and then we're gonna go ahead and right into another set, into another set, into another set. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Keep it going. Three, three, one. Partial. Partial. Don't swing. Don't swing. Don't swing. Don't swing. Touch. One. Go. Two. Good. Hands up. Your shoulders get tired. You can put your hands clasp over your head. Too. A bigger muscle is a stronger muscle, but there's no point in going heavier because you're not really making it stronger. You just moving weight. What we want to do is create tension to get that muscle to really grow and go next level. Again, guys, there are levels to this, okay? You don't just keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. So we're going to go ahead and we've adjusted this workout right into an FST7 set because we couldn't go heavy. Good. So you notice the vascularity, what's going on here? You're getting vascular even though his arms aren't down because you know that as soon as those limbs come down, the blood is gonna rush, it's gonna trigger a lot of growth factors. Come on, this is the side I need you to work on. Go, three, two, one more. Good, now keep going, keep going. Partial, small partial. Go, good, good. Down. Oh my gosh. Hands up. Good. 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 Right there. Come on. Come on, two more. One more. Partial, give me five, five, five. One, touch, touch. Two, three, four. Okay, flex it out. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. Let the, let the blood flow, let the blood flow. So now what you're seeing is you're starting to see all of these little indentations and splits that weren't there because now the fascia is being stretched so much, you have so much blood flow in there, that what's happening right now is you have all of these microscopic tears, and those tears are gonna come back. That's why we gotta feed it, you gotta turn around and make sure that you're putting enough food and calories, carbohydrates, to be able to really get that to basically come back and evolve into a new fuller muscle belly. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of posing. All right, so we annihilated the biceps, even on the second exercise. We're gonna give them a little bit of rest. We're gonna bring the blood flow from the front of the arm to the back of the arm and really start priming the pump for the triceps now. for many, many years, 25 years, 30 years, me always touching that muscle. You wanna create that mind-muscle connection, so it's really important I touch the muscle that he's working. Why? So that he creates a better flexion point at the very bottom. He's gonna be, be able to flex, he's gonna get that mind-muscle connection, and he's gonna to remember to really, really keep that tension all the way to the end of the exercise and the, ex the end of that rep. Good, turn, turn that wrist, good. Good, squeeze. Full flexion. Good, come on. Let's go. Come on. One, 
two, one more. Good job. There you go. Okay, the great thing about this machine is the fact that you can do it independently. You wanna be able to work, what we're doing on his little bit of that weaker side, on that left side, it doesn't get compensated. On a bar, you can be 20% less in regards of uh, pushing and you're not gonna feel it. You can do literally 20% more on one side versus the other and it'll stabilize on a bar. So that's why I recommend making sure that especially when you have an imbalance, you gotta be able to work on these types of machines. Two more, two more. Good. One more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Good, two, 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 you got this. See how easy it is? Partials, three. One, two. Shoot. All right, go ahead and put those handles on, and we're gonna do curls, and we're gonna do a, st uh, a static curl. All right, we're doing cable curls with the cables behind us. The key to cables behind you is you have more time under tension through the entire range of motion. That's why I like this so much. You can definitely use it with hammer if you had the single rope, or you can go ahead and do it with the handles. We're doing it with the handles because we're really, really trying to thicken up those biceps, and we want to create tension through the whole entire range of motion. So again, great stretch, great contraction. Four, all the way up. Hold it there, five seconds, hold. Five, four, three, two. Are you ready? That's it. Are you Good. fucking ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Good. Did you raise the weight? Yeah. Good. Come on. Forward, forward, don't twist them. Keep them forward. One more. Go. Hold it. This side. Go. That's it. Yeah. Come on. Go. Keep that up. Go. Good. Pure motivation. Let's go. Come on. Go. Hold it. Two. Three. Hold it. Go, go, go. Watch the wrist. Watch the wrist. Watch the wrist. Go. Three, partial, partial. One, two, puts it out. Again. Right here. In there. Pull it in. Again, you're not stretching those traps. Stretch them, that's it. That's it, hold it right there. Hold it right there.
Good. Chest continue to keep building that up. This is looking good. Just make sure you keep working those pullovers for the back too. Pull pullover machine. Rose, go right into that front double bicep now. Good. Turn, 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 turn. Hold it. Get those lats out more. Yeah, you gotta stretch that because if this ever narrows up, your physique is fucked. Do that again. Squeeze your chest, keep your shoulders wide. Keep your lats out. Do it from Good, right there, I like that. Tighten up your tricep right there. Go up high, 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 faster. There you go, hold it. back. Yeah. We're gonna have to start doing more deads. So I get you some do some deads in there because I need that inner inner back filled up. What's your abs? Flex that left leg. Where's that left leg at? There you go, like that. Do that same pose, but flex your lower body just like you're doing your upper body. Go. That's it. Yes. Come on, flex that left leg. Where's that left leg? That's it. Good. All right, we just got done doing arms. Again, now he's doing his fingers, he's texting, he's making sure he gets his posts up and everything else. But again, the life of the 212 Olympia champion, social media. Hey, it's 2022. It is 2022. But guess what, guys? We are not letting up at all. Working hard. We got some really, really good workouts in the last several days. We're looking forward to seeing him grow even more. One of the weakest body parts that I feel that Derek has is his arms. So we're going to continue to keep chipping away at it. Again, weak to me because I'm chasing perfection and you'll never, ever get there. So again, any last words? No, I'm there with you, man. I'm here to get better and I had a great time the last few days. And uh, I think these videos are turn out really good because the workouts were crazy. Yeah, it was really, really good. And honestly, we missed the hell out of our other teammate, Hadi Chopin. Honestly, I was back texting him back and forth because we miss him so much because I would love for them to be able to do collabs and training together and all these other things. And again, Hadi, if you're out there, we miss you. If you're hearing this and someone's translating for you, so again, all I'm saying is that we miss you, brother. So again, Hani Rambod, Derek Lunsford, Evagen Nutrition, we're out.